Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jake here. Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you everything that I use to make my videos. I'd be lying if I said that you guys have suggested this down in the comments, so please, please, please make sure you're leaving a comment down below suggesting what type of videos you would like to see from me. I am basically open to anything. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Basically, I've been describing slowly, slowly, slowly everything that I've been using in my videos to make my videos and how I produce and upload. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything that I do use to make my videos just in case if you guys are wondering and starting a channel yourself or if you're just curious and want to know what it takes. So starting off, I'm going to start with my camera. I film on a Canon G7X Mark II and I have an unboxing video on this camera. If you want to check that out, I will leave it linked down below in the description. It by far, I've been using it since about June, so I want to say like six months. I've been using it half a year, and it has been an amazing experience with this camera. I have filmed a lot of stuff on it throughout the end of the summer and the beginning of the school year. It's very portable. It's very compact. There's just so many things that are good about it, and if you want to see a full in-depth review, make sure to check out my review on that. That is linked down in the description below. Okay, and then starting number two, I don't think this really counts as something that I use to make my videos with but it is kind of an accessory and it's kind of needed it is my camera case uh, this is where I tr keep my camera in everywhere I go I bring my camera in this case and it is really good because it's a perfect fit for everything that I have camera wise so you see back here it can it can house my camera in the back slot right here and then in the front I have my tripod this is uh kind of like the main tripod I use for vlogging or videoing stuff but otherwise I have a bigger tripod which I have shown in my what's in my 2020 tech bag review so if you want to see that in the other tripod and basically everything else in my setup you can go check that down below in the description as well. And then up here, I just have extra SD cards, and then on the sides, they both open up, and I just carry the charger for it, and the spare battery, just in case if I run out of battery on my camera and I'm on the go, I can switch them out, because I always have at least one extra one that is charged and ready to go. Coming in at number three, I have my phone, actually. I know most of you might be surprised if you have a camera, why do you still use your phone? I actually don't film on my phone unless, of course, I forget my camera somewhere, then I do. But other than that, I only use my phone for uh, thumbnails. I do make my thumbnails on my phone just because I do not want to pay for a uh, Photoshop app or like Adobe Premiere stuff. Uh, not at this point in my career, I guess you could say. I'm just not ready to get the Photoshop stuff. So I just use PixArt on my phone and it works amazing. It's free and it's what I've been using my thumbnails for for... I want to say all of this year since January of this year. So yeah, Pixar highly recommend. I've seen many of people use that app for multiple things. You can edit your Instagram photos on there, your YouTube thumbnails, uh, Facebook. You can use it for Facebook stuff. Like basically any type of social media app you should be able to use it for. And it works great not only for editing, like color editing. You can add text to the photos. Like it's a really great app and this is not a promotion by the way I'm just giving my honest review on the app next I have the beast itself and that is my 2020 MacBook Pro I did work on saving up for this laptop myself towards the whole beginning of 2020 I've been working hard and I finally was able to afford it in June so I did end up buying it it is a really powerful machine and I am so happy and thankful that I do have it with me and I usually do bring it everywhere I go as well uh, for like video editing purposes and just like an easy access to the internet besides my phone and it is also obviously what I edit my videos on is my MacBook Pro. I use Final Cut Pro which is the Apple app that you can buy on uh, basically anything that's a uh, Mac. You can't get it on a phone uh, or a tablet but you can get it on like iMacs, MacBooks, and just like stuff like that. The app itself is pretty expensive. It comes in at a whopping $300, $299 plus tax. But you know, I definitely think it's worth it. But if you are just beginning to start out and like making videos, you obviously just, you can just use your phone really. You don't need a camera. You don't need a laptop with a $300 app. I mean, you can just really do everything. Like on iMovie, you can do everything just fine as you would with a camera and a laptop. And for my lighting, all I use is really a, a ring light that was like 20 bucks on Amazon. I got at the beginning of the year as well. Uh, so basically I got all of my equipment around the same time and I'm just fine making this video that's what I'm trying to get at also I'm sorry for not uploading as much as as much as I would like I am doing a lot of schoolwork right now and working a lot as well and I'm also trying to save up for a car so it's just all coming together and like 
hitting me all at once. So I, my video uploading has gotten weaker again as we come into the late December. I had planned so many videos to come out in December and I just haven't had time to make them, edit them, do anything with them, and I do apologize for that. I am trying to find as much time as I can to make these videos for you guys because I've seen a lot of your comments, likes, and all your subscriptions just makes me really happy. So if you guys have not already, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers and I, that was my goal for the end of the year, but, but honestly, I don't think it's gonna happen at the end of the year, just because there is two weeks left of the year. But make sure you are subscribing, and we're trying to hit that 1,000 subscriber goal. It really would mean a lot. And uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments below what other videos you would like me to do. I'm gonna try and do more vlogs. Just like the video if you want me to do more vlogs, or maybe like a sit down type of sit down, serious talk videos, just anything. Just let me know. Again, sorry for not uploading a lot. I hope you understand. Just thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. You risk it all, you learn to feel.